Farmers by nature are definitely stewards of the land and they always have been. Well, I'm Arlo Van Deest and uh, I live in Webster City, Iowa, north central Iowa. Kind of in the farming operation for 50 years. Conservation has always been important to me. The Nature Conservancy identified the Boone River watershed as a watershed of good biodiversity despite the threats of all this encroaching agriculture. We're looking at issues of water quality and lack of habitat and serious changes in hydrology as almost the entire watershed is tile drained. And so we partner with NRCS, the Iowa Soybean Association, Department of Natural Resources, Fish and Wildlife Service, and all of us working together are able to accomplish our goals of you know, improving water quality, improving habitat, improving hydrology, all while maintaining agricultural productivity, which is the local dry for the local economy. We help them uh, understand the issues, whether it be water quality, soil erosion, and then get an understanding of what practices they use on this landscape, what works best, what they're willing to try, uh, and then get them to implement and adopt those practices. Some of the practices that we're looking at to implement would be this denitrifying bioreactor. And working with the Nature Conservancy, we've been able to identify different areas in the watershed that have higher nitrate concentrations coming from them. Currently in the Boone River watershed, as part of the MRBI program, we have installed about 10 bioreactors to date. It's an edge of field practice in which we intercept field tile, which carries a lot of the nitrogen to the stream, and we'll run that tile water through an underground bed of wood chips. And the tile water comes in from the fields carrying nitrogen. Um, and as it's diverted through the wood chips, the water interacts with microorganisms that live on the wood chips and they actually cause the denitrification process. And so when the water goes back to the stream, it's anywhere from 50 to you know, 85, 90% reduced in the amount of nitrogen that it had originally. We designed bioreactors to handle 20% of the peak flow and have a four to eight hour retention time. So this is um, just a, a drainage management box that's made by AgriDrain. Um, and so there's stop logs in here so that we can control the amount of flow coming in. When the bioreactor can handle all the water coming in, you can have it all going through here. During times when there's too much water and you're worried about maybe backing water up into the field, then you just release um, the water straight through to the stream. And as you can see, you can barely even tell the practice is here, so we don't have to take any land out of production, which makes them a very attractive practice to the producer. It's kind of a simple thing and, it's, it's, uh, and it works. It, uh, it works quite well. It's kind of a win-win thing, I think.